Your woman is not submitting to you because you don't know how to be masculine. Women are naturally submissive. It is their instinct to be submissive and to follow a devotional, loving, strong man's leadership. And it is definitely true that a lot of women are very resistant to a man's leadership today because so many have been indoctrinated by feminism and other unhealthy beliefs, and many are living through their wounds. But you can't use that as an excuse. If you become masculine enough, if you learn how to lead, if you become highly competent at leading a woman out of disrespect, out of resistance, into her feelings, you can lead will say almost any woman into her feminine, into submitting to you. If you are the kind of man that gives up when you try leading a woman and she gets resistant, or if you are the kind of man that gets off center and emotional, starts criticizing and angry at your woman when she gets resistant, you have a long way to go in becoming truly masculine. Healthy masculine men do not get off center and critical when their woman is being intentionally or unintentionally disrespectful by resisting his leadership. Healthy masculine men realize that if a woman is not submitting to him, this is just a reflection of himself and his lack of confidence, his lack of competency, his lack of vision for where he wants to take the relationship. This is what responsible leaders do, is they take responsibility for themselves and what they are experiencing. And if you don't know how to take full responsibility for yourself, if you don't know how to look at yourself and see how you're co-creating things, why would your woman respect you? Why would any woman respect you? Why would they trust you? They can't trust you because you don't know how to be responsible yet. You only know how to blame other people for your own failings. And we've all been there one time or another. I remember a past girlfriend I had where we would get in conflicts all the time. There was a lack of polarity. But all I could see was what she was doing wrong. What I did not understand at that time was how to truly be a man. How to serve her with my masculine instinct, with my leadership, and cherish her so that she could feel safe to let go. So that she could let go of all resistance. I didn't have the tools and I certainly didn't have the emotional centeredness back then to be able to lead her effectively. The relationship didn't work out. I ended it because it became so unhealthy. And the same thing is true in my marriage. Every time my wife has been disrespectful and resistant, I look at myself first. What am I doing to create this situation? Am I fully emotionally centered? Am I truly leading with love? Am I competent enough in this situation to lead her with love? Shift yourself so that you can get the respect that you need.